Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah everybody. This is Do-Rag Wisdom and this is one of my three cats, Jimmy. Hi Jimmy! I love cats, I love animals. I think I love animals better than human beings. Yes. I mean these, these things are so like... I have, what happened was I took this kitty, he's one of three, four from a litter and I uh... and what happened was uh... Uh, I knew the mother. I lived on this block, 23rd Street in Brooklyn, and I loved this cat, and I couldn't bring her in because I had another two cats, and then, you know, I didn't want them to get, you know, diseased or, you know, whatever it was. So, uh, uh, after my, uh, Samantha, that was my other cat, my had Sabrina and Samantha died, I, uh, I couldn't, I can't live without animals in the house. I mean, cats, dogs. I mean, I do cats because, uh, uh, because cats are easier to take care of in a big city. And, uh, well, there were four cats in a litter and Jimmy, him, and his sister, Ginger, who's upstairs, and Crash, who's very disturbed, but I love Crash too. Uh, they were uh, one of the uh, siblings, or not siblings, one of the, uh, the, the, the sons and daughters of this cat that I, that I liked, that I couldn't take in, this female cat. I call, I call her mommy, <laughs> mother cat. So I ended up getting th uh, three of her siblings, and the fourth one ended up being uh, adopted by somebody else. So I don't know about the fourth sibling. It's uh, it's kind of sad. I would have taken all four cats in, but uh, I ended up with three of the, the ones from the litter. I'm not going to separate. I'm not a Nazi. I'm not a Trump Nazi, a GOP Nazi. I'm not going to separate families. So I took all three cats in, and I've had them now. From that, this is their 10 years now. So they're in their uh, cat age by 70. Really wonderful creatures of this planet are just the natural wonders of this planet. The animals, the the forests, the canyons, the mountains, the ocean, which the GOP and uh, Bertha Bastard don't respect. Anyway, today is uh, the first day of Hanukkah. And it's Christmas. And uh, I guess I'm politically correct in a certain way. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with saying I'm, I'm an atheist, a Jewish member, a, a member of the Jewish tribe, and I'm a Zionist. I mean, when I say Zionist, I support Zionism. And I, I support uh, Jewish settlements in all the land of Israel. But I'm an American. I was born here, paid taxes here, my parents died here, they suffered here, my father fought in uh, the Second World War, mortal combat, came back damaged beyond belief, so I owe my first move to this country with the faith that no matter who's president of this country, Israel will do what it has to to protect itself from its enemies, religious enemies, because that's what it's all about in the Middle East, they, it's about religious hatred. If, I guess if they were all atheists, maybe they'd get along, I suppose, but, you know, I, I have to say that the Islamic religion and the Jewish religion have a lot in common. Uh, the Jews have uh, kashrut, kosher, and they have, uh, um, uh, I forget, <laughs> they have their own kosher also, uh, and um, I've had a few drinks, I'm sorry, I mean, because I forgot. <laughs> Drinking and so like that, so you know. Uh, but and also, Jews and, and Muslims don't have no image of uh, the uh, supreme being. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, Catholic Christians have an image. But the uh, pr the um, Protestant and the they don't have they don't have the images like the. Either way. 
Death is a very, very frightening thing, and, in, and throughout the history of the human race, the brief history of the human race, we've always needed something to believe in because the idea that we're going to die is so overwhelming. I'm sorry to say that I can't uh, celebrate my, ho uh, I mean, the holiday season because this country has nominated a hate monger. He wants to take our country back to the 1950s when we had the uh, arms race and we'll be hiding under our desks again. People don't realize that uh, we're all connected. This creep has been nominated president. People have done all kinds of crazy shit in this world, but we're all connected. Someone way over and under the world, over the world, we're all connected. We're all part threads in a great fabric. And I get that from the movie Threads, directed by Mick Jackson and written by uh, Mr. Hines. And uh, the, one of the greatest nuclear war movies ever made, and it should be for everyone to see. Not the day after, which is a glorified disaster film. Threads. Threads shows it how it is. Made in Britain. Threads. Details the plight of two families and a group of uh, civil servants and a town called Sheffield, I visited on Google Earth, gets destroyed, gets destroyed because the Americans and the Russians are fighting. Well, we're not gonna fight with the Russians because, you know, this traitor that's coming in, this birther bastard, is friends with that shithead, that other totalitarian scumbag Putin. But he wants to expand the nuclear weapons, this scumbag, this, this birther bastard, this, this uh, str strong man with no balls, this mother effer who's going to take this country and destroy it and this world with it. We're all connected. That's what I learned from Threads, ladies and gentlemen. Threads. So... There's a birther bastard in charge of this country in uh, January. There's a fascist other piece of shit in charge of Russia. We got religious extremism all over the world. And don't believe that if this shithead, this birther bastard starts a nuclear war, and if you're in Britain, or if you're in Japan, or if you're in the, the farthest reaches of this planet, it will all be finished. Get it? Finished. Because we're all threads in a, in a fabric. And I learned that from this movie Threads, which now is being held hostage by the BBC in England. You can't get that. The movie's only available on Region uh, 2, not Region 1. It should be available for everyone, this movie Threads, and it should be in a director's format, director's cut, and it should have commentary. It's one of the most important movies ever made since Citizen Kane. And now that this stupid country has put a son of a whore a birther bastard into the Oval Office. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen of the world, it is bad for everyone. When are we going to all get along? When are we going to all live together in peace on this little, this little hunk of rock? When are we going to do it? When? Does the entire human race have to, to die before this planet has peace? Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah for you, but not for me until the scum, the fascist GOP scum and the Democratic hypocrites, the Democratic Party corporate hypocrites until 
Donald Bertha Bastard Trump is flushed down the toilet of history, it will not be any holiday for me. Because I want to leave this planet pure. I want to leave it pristine for the next generation. And so far, my generation is leaving the next generation with shit so that we can continue the cycle of pain and anguish and destruction. When are we all going to wake the fuck up?